everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and I'm here to share with you Graphic 45 Alice's Tea Party. So I just completed this album and I'm, I'm really happy with the, the way it turned out. So this is eight and a half by 10 and a half. That's the outside dimension and a two and a half inch spine. And then the pocket pages inside are eight by 10. So they're a half inch smaller than the outside dimension. Here I've featured um, Graphic 45 Precious Pink Roses, and there's lots of die cuts. So there's a die cut here, 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 here. This is fussy cut. <clears throat> so I'm gonna bring it up so you can get a little bit closer look at it. Um, I had the white um, roses um, in my stash, um, but I used a pack of the Graphic 45 Precious Pink. So I combined the two. I tried it with just all peach and just all white, and I didn't like it. So I think the two colors is great. If you had some blue flowers, they would work really well as as well. This is a graphic 45 clock key and then here and in, in the frame and right here are three fussy cut pieces from the uh, 12 by 12 collection pack. I've got a keyhole here on the back and then a nice simple back. This is fussy cut from the 4 by 6 uh, ephemera card that says tea party and I think I actually have I may have had, had that piece. Yeah, here it is. So here's the ephemera card, and I just fussy cut the tea party out, and I like it. I think it's pretty. Just add a little bit of something on the back. Okay, let's see what's inside. Yay! Nice, simple, um, flat surface for 8x10 photo or for 5x7s, large photos, or a collage of smaller ones. Here I did the very popular twist pop, um, and you see it in cards all the time. Let me make sure I get everything in frame. And then these are, uh, I can't remember if, yeah, these are cut aparts from the 12 by 12 collection pack. I couldn't remember if they were ephemera cards, but they're from, there's one whole page that's just uh, cut apart cards. Okay, I opted not to do um, the inserts in the pockets because the pages are so heavy already. Okay, here is page two. We've got these um, two inserts. This opens. And then we've got an insert on each side. There we go. And then I also put an ephemera card in here. So both of these, lots and lots of room for photos. And additionally, you have room for journaling. Okay, this opens one more time to this layout. So this is all photo space. It's beautiful. Okay, page three, a nice simple belly band with um, an ephemera card tucked in, and then this large photo mat. This photo mat is seven and a half by seven and a half, okay? And then of course you could tuck more stuff in here. Looks like I got snagged there. Okay, now we're on page um, four, and four and five. So we've got a nice insert here again. This opens this way got two pocket inserts, so there's tons of inserts in this um, project. Two more inserts. This opens. You've got a nice photo mat here, and it opens one more time to reveal a pocket. And I think I need to slide over so you can see more. This is the back side of this panel. And then inside the pocket was an insert, so it kind of makes this look like a belly band, but it's um, it, but it's not. So you've got a nice insert, and two ephemera cards fit into that pocket. Okay, and you close this, this, and this, and now you're over to page five. Same thing, it's just a mirror image, two inserts, tea time, drink me, a nice photo mat, again a pocket with, in this case, two ephemera cards, and a nice big insert. Okay, and that is page four and five. Okay, page six, we've got that belly band again. This is a card style large insert with an ephemera card. Okay, we've got two inserts. And then this opens to reveal a pocket. 
with an ephemera card and an insert on both sides. So tons of stash spots. And then we open up to a nice big photo spread. Last page, we do the twist pop one more time with different cards. And as you can see, the way it's arranged, you still have a ton of space down here for photos. So you can do some journaling up here, have fun with the pop-up, and then still have room for photos. That is Alice's Tea Party. And you can just see, this is only half of the inserts. Look at all these inserts for this project, just tons. So lots of room for photos and journaling. So this would make a really fun journaling book too because there's so many inserts that would allow for um, a lot of journaling throughout you know, several months. So that's Alice's Tea Party from Graphic 45. I hope you guys enjoyed. The tutorials will be up, so enjoy. Look under Graphic 45. Alice's Tea Party and you'll see the playlist and all the tutorials are available for you there. Thanks for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. If you haven't, consider subscribing to our channel and you'll be notified of new content when it becomes available. Also, if you click in the show more under the description, you'll see the cut list. It is a little long, so I would highly recommend watching the video, at least scanning it before you start to cut into your cardstock so you can understand how that cut list translates to the page that you may be working on. As always, each page has its own video so you don't have to go search th through the middle of a video to find the second page or the next page. So look for the page you're interested in, look at the cut list, and then do some scanning before you start cutting into your cardstock. Thanks again everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. We'll see you soon. And my next album is uh, Come On, Come All. See you soon.